So opening point on the board then for Anthony Tinasuka Ginteng. In 36 minutes, that's all it took for him to get the win pretty comfortably over Kusit Petradab of Thailand, ranked 26th in the world. So next up then, we've got the first of the men's doubles. Respectfully, the Indonesians' uh, men's doubles might, and having lost both men's doubles to Hong Kong, they've gone left field with two unproven men's doubles, unfamiliar looks. So we have a, an unusual dynamic in the Thai camp that uh, Kitsak Namdash and Nipit von Fuang Fuapet are playing together and they are, are unranked as a consequence of no record of them playing recent uh, BWF tournaments at all. So Namdash normally plays with uh, Bodin Isara and between them they're ranked uh, 21 in the world but they've obviously decided just to throw caution to the wind completely change it up and go completely sort of left brain on us here with this sort of choice you know it is a very tough ask everybody knows that they're up against the world's very best pair and always a treat to see them they've dominated much of 2017 and the early part of 2018 Marcus Finaldi Gideon and Kevin Sakamuljo And there they are, generous applause then for our athletes. Led out by the yellow-shirted Indonesians. Kevin Sakamulyo leading the way, followed by a uh, really lean-looking Marcus Fernaldi Gideon with a shaved head. What a force they've been this year. Quite incredible. Seven or so titles. The Japan Open, China Open, Hong Kong Open, World Super Series finals of last year, Indonesian Masters, in India Open, All England Open. Two runner-up spots as well. Incredible year. So uh, exciting and dynamic and characterful. I love all the bluffs that Sakamuljo employs the boyish bravado that he brings he's so they're both so entertaining to be fair now what about these two as you see they've never uh, met before fresh pairing the uh, team in white and, uh, great opportunity for them to really make heroes of themselves if they could manage to twist this their way Kevin to serve. Which end? That one? Who to receive? Nipipon to receive. Marcus Finaldi Gideon then. At one stage last year, they'd won six Super Series finals. Or World Tour Finals, I should call them now, and, uh, you know, from 10 tournaments, they were incredible. As we look through their vitals, the 27-year-old from Jakarta. But, of course, it's probably sort of nervous energy and the hatred of losing that drives them on to surpass themselves week in, week out. Kevin Sanjaya Sukumoljo, five years younger at 22. Terrific year for them. Absolutely outstanding. Didn't play against Canada. Didn't need to. He still got the five love win. And uh, well, let's take a look at their opponents in white who have, well, a thankless task tonight, frankly, ahead of them. 22 year old Kitisak Nandash. Nekon Phnom in Thailand and Nipit von Phuang Phuapet in the background there, 26 years old. So all similar 
ages on court. A 27-year-old, a 26-year-old this side of the net, and a couple of 22-year-olds the other side. weren't selected together in their opening match. And the Empire from Malaysia. On her perch, presiding over this one. And then the service judge to assist from South Africa, Lauren's Besta. players adding weight to the generous applause whenever their team wins a point but you feel this uh, is going to be a, a huge ask but stranger things happen that's why we love sport so much and certainly very creative thinking from the captain to you know, attempt to really throw caution to the wind and change it up the way he has done. So building up to get underway then in this first of the men's doubles on the uh, session three on day three here. Night session from Bangkok. Penultimate right. round of the Indonesia. Group B stages. Plenty to play Kevin for. Sanjaya, Indonesia already Arthur with a Fedani. team win Idiot. in this race to three. Courtesy of Anthony Anohana. Ginting. Here we are in match Thailand. two. Represented by Kitty Swat Namda and Nikki Pong Wong Kwapen. Indonesia to serve. Kevin to Pippi Pong. Love play. Undefeated this year, 16 wins, no losses for the team in black and yellow. That is outstanding. One love. And they continue in that vein. No prizes for who won that point. sees the shuttle so quickly but caught napping a little there courtesy of some Thai brilliance good lead <laughs> and again the crowd respond and well, the lovely smile from then, and smiles all around here <laughs> on court one. They have the lead. How long will it last? Too high. Arthur. First service fault. Just wanting a confirmation Arthur. from the service judge. Umpire doesn't like it though. Get back on court, young man. with those pressures time and again you know how highly skilled they are but mentally that's a tough ask to deliver every time you step on the match court and we know that performance sport racket sports any level sport it all hinges on an eye fedge on a daily basis 
after one percent drop off and suddenly you're a little vulnerable and you see that happening already you know they're training a couple of points still early doors of course but you know, who knows well that's just what the indonesians don't want really they want to keep the pairing at arm's length and you know they'll they'll settle and get confident and see already they're having a ball out here brilliant net play Sparkling start this is for the massive underdogs, the unranked pairing. White. Oh, where did that come from? Absolute ninja like that was. Incredible reflex. Let's see it again. Look at that. And head brilliance. So subtle. How did he contort his body into that kind of shape? That was well elastic, frankly. And they have their work cut out, the best pair in the world, and they don't look entirely happy about it either. They're trailing by six points, and the ties are looking like they're heading towards the turn far quicker here. Indeed, long. There's a challenge, the first of this match, as the beating heart comes across the speakers. Yeah, just now. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Twinned really well, these two. Juan Pulpet and Namdash. Wow, radar was off there. Six, that was a country ten. mile away, that one. Yeah, it's good. Ah, challenge here, again, from the Thai duo. Well, they both took evasive action, almost like they thought it was going. And they seem insistent, and uh, they both challenged it simultaneously, indica indicative of the fact that it probably was. And it was indeed long. So to the delight of the Thai crowd, it is their men that take to the front in this one. 11-6 to the mid-game interval. They lead. Well, the Thai crowd going absolutely berserk, having a ball here, and, and as well they might. This has been a terrific showing. A five-point disparity, a lead against the world number ones. Could they? Could they do the upset? There's still a lot of badminton to be played, that's for sure. Oh, that was quick from Gideon. And again, that's the second time there's been a service fault from Marcus Fernaldi Gideon, and he doesn't like it. Umpire acknowledging it's too high, and he doesn't like it one bit. 
many protests for the second time from Marcus Finaldi. Super play. Kept his wits about him really very well there, Nambe. Took the heat out of this right here very, very well. Look at that. It's normally this man on the receiving end of uh, some of his own medicine. Six point lead for the tie pairing. That squirted wide as well. Make that seven points. Deep uh, sigh of relief. Trying to get some relaxation skills in there. Super Ninja. Well played. It's a lot more proactive. As the Nine, beast finally three. awoken within this ferocious young man, when he's fully activated, he's like a blur all over the front court. That's more like it. <laughs> now, starting to build momentum now, getting up ahead of steam, the Indonesians. But uh, it's the ties that have had a run of five consecutive points already in this opener. Indonesians only two. They're on a run of two right now. Going to make that three. Eleven. The comeback starts here. Three in a row for Gideon and Sakamulyo. A clash of rackets reinforcing their intent here. Okay. Just trying to take the net away from their opponents pretty quickly. Ever alert and vigilant. Now, They've always got a menacing presence in okay. at any moment, in any game, seemingly. But this is a sterling and gallant fight back from the world number ones. We knew it would come at some stage. Now, what have the ties got to offer in response? Well, I'm a big fan of the authorities, and uh, if you've seen it that way, well, so be it. Service judges are consistent in calling that kind of situation. I'm all for it. But that's three service faults for the man in your picture, Marcus Fernaldi Gideon. And uh, Ron, it's, a, it's a tough one to swallow. 15, 12. Nibbling away at the deficit with great effect. Well done, Kitsisek Nandash, very quick to close down and pressure the Indonesians into error. Still got the three point lead. Five points away from snatching the opener. Talking of snatching, that was a little snatchy there, wasn't it? Almost anxious. Well, they lost both doubles in their previous match. The uh, men in white, the team in white, I should say. So they need to redeem themselves, and they've done just that from the off here. 17, 14.
can they get across the line here and put pressure on the best Boy. in the world? Sub is over. 15, 18. Rushed into error there, Nambash. 16, for a scratch pairing, 18. this is terrific performance in this opening game. Now, can these Houdini-esque Indonesians escape, as we've seen so often in the past? Sub is over. <laughs> Thai fans really quite hysterical right now, loving what they're seeing. A swing and a miss, and it doesn't matter because it's gone wide. I think Sukumujo thought that he might have just clicked the shuffle, but not so. 20, game point, 16. Who'd have thought this? Four game point opportunities for the tie pairing. Wasn't ready. Yeah, game's been shit going on, you sense. The loop, the roof has lifted off here in Bangkok. Just inside quarter of an hour play, 21-16 in favour of the Thai pairing. What a result that is. wants to get that right, doesn't he? He cost them dear in that opening game, three service faults. He's just trying to get that height rectified. Needs to realign. Plenty to ponder then, the best players in the world. They've not really imposed themselves here yet. They've not been allowed, frankly. The Ties have played some mesmerizing fare. Dazzling and clinical throughout. Can they continue in that vein? Crowd lasting after all. Oh. Start of game two here. and just slightly overwhelmed. Better from Kevin. Over. All, Two, one. He needs to get busy, you sense, and really be a lot more proactive somehow. Well, that's a terrific uh, return from Nipit Fong Kuan for Pet. <laughs> Even Rachinox dancing around. Yeah, under 
too much pressure. He felt uh, Sukhmulja was closing Three. on that net, and as a consequence, just took his eye momentarily off the shuffle in his peripheral. And see it again. Look at this. Look how proactive. Enjoy is there. So the Indonesians break to the front on a rare occasion in this one. Error. Pressure compounding, seemingly, on these guys. Good lead. He is a strong unit, isn't he? Nip, nip, nip it, Bonk. One for a pet, big lad. What a turnaround, and again the crowd ignites. They've been orchestrating them so well this evening. Loving their time on court, a scratch pairing remarkably. Having the time of their lives out here on court one. Taking it well within their stride, far from overwhelmed. Demonstrating a lot of creative genius with the way they're playing. Now, let's hope they're not going to start future pacing and getting ahead of themselves. on the ties. That's how he's seeing it though. kind of all expected really in all honesty what with their pinnacle ranking and they're starting to really get their games up together having had a relatively slow start but they've been contained so well by the tie pairing but not anymore the shackles are off and they're finding their stride Super play, very proactive from the net man. Five, eight. Very well read, he really got a step ahead there. You could see him leaning that way very, very early and he just cuts that off. Terrific interception. Well, weight of shot there, overwhelming. Another deep breath for the younger of the two Indonesians. It's like a cauldron like atmosphere in here tonight. Show court one. Just as you thought, the Indonesians were about to turn the point round. More brilliance from Juan Fuapet. There he goes again, let's see it again. Actually, I got that wrong, it's not, it's his partner. Well done, sir. Nandash on that occasion. 
They're moving so quickly, it's, tra it's tough to track who's hitting the shuttle. <laughs> take your eyes off this for one second it's been a compelling watch <laughs> never to be outdone in the flat hard drive Ten, battle he's always there or thereabouts isn't he this fella Well, there was real hesitation there for a second. In the tight camp, and it's the Indonesians that head to the uh, turn. Eleven points to eight. Well, it's been a hard slog for these two. They've been up against it throughout. Some brilliance from the Thai duo, the other side of the net. The Thais have been so aggressive and really good at getting the front court player involved. They've been bold and insistent. But is this the turnaround? It certainly feels like the start of it. and drives, just starting to catch their opponents unaware. Yeah, the big man pulls his way through another point. There he is. He has been menacing tonight. Loaded with power. Look at this. Climbs up there and throttles that down. Well left, didn't even watch the shuttle land. So aware of exactly where it was going. So again, they extend their lead and... But the pressure, I think he's anxious, you know, from what the service judge has done to him. That was a very, very nervous service error. He's had three forks against him, and he, you can see from his demeanor, he's struggling. Or is he? speed as he closed down the net set up again by that 11, wonderful 15. deception look at that took all the pace off it and just wow what a lovely aerial view that is So tight to the net again from Nanda. She's on fire right now. Oh, 
<laughs> so spatially aware, though. Second move, Joe, there. Just nudged that one to the hole on the court. And still, with the Indonesians in this very tight affair in game two that keep their noses in front. Suddenly the Thai support has gone rather quiet because the Indonesians have seven points to draw level. They do so with great Second efficiency game. in game Bomba. two. So very much back on turns now as they go to the kit boxes to change ends. 21-13 in favour of the world number ones. We're going to be treated to a decider. Don't go anywhere. did so well in the driving situation to get the upper hand quickly in the opening game in points they were getting in first and it almost as if the Indonesians the pace seemed a little too high for them unusually but they've managed to swing this around and get back to neutral here we are then at the start of game three what Final will game. unfold who's gonna Long blink first play. He has been so owning the front court, particularly one. in game one. Look. It's been a really reading so early patterns of play of the Indonesians. Good leave, it has just squirted wide. Good start from Team Look. Thailand here. urgency of movement. Giving a 
Three love lead to the Thai duo now. In a blur of energy at the net, they were there. Love. Looking to pick off anything. Look at that. I absolutely love that aerial camera. It's a whole different look to our production. A good sense of just how hard these guys work day in, day out. And the margins that they play with are so minimal. And the utmost, utmost respect for any of these top athletes. seen that so often over the years, haven't we? He's just so effective when he gets on a roll at the net. And this is a really confident strike from the younger of the two Indonesians. So they regain the serve. Good lead. He thought about it, though, didn't he? Thought well, he was going to hit that. Five, one. They have twinned really well together, these two. Oh. And with this kind of showing, makes you wonder whether they're the one. new force in World Badminton men's doubles. It's quite outstanding, but, and it is a big but, now we take a look at their front running skills. It's a whole different issue. Can they hold on to the lead or will they future pace and get ahead of themselves? They've got to go one point at a time. And in this kind of heralded stage, that's a tough ask. Oh, a wonderful interception again at the net. For Kirisak Nandash. previous head-to-head -head history between these two pairs because they're a scratch pairing. Look at the Thai coaches, deep breathing going on there as well. gear that we see so often in this situation the world number ones oh he's masterful when he's in that situation Five, isn't he eight. given that Namdash has to step up and kind of respond to that in his own way in the front court Quang Kuapet takes the lead roll there. Well done, sir.
goal! Point of the tournament so far, that was outstanding! A whole lot of amazing right there! Titanic effort, look at this, the back behind from the world number ones in this lengthy rally. And the roof has just been blown off the stadium with this. What a point we've been treated to there. In front, in. 11 points to six. Can they do the unthinkable? so great from the fans here that they can barely hear the umpire. What a visual treat this has been from start to finish, all the way through, absolutely mesmeric. Five-point lead, the tie unheralded, unranked duo. Breaks out again. <laughs> extraordinary rally. And Sukumuljo with his boyish tricks at the end of it, just to add salt to the wounds. <laughs> he knew that was going. He's a prankster, that boy. <laughs> Show me. Points reaction from Sakamujo. This pumps all round. storm right now the Indonesians just clips the outside edge I'm surprised he didn't challenge there to be honest the Thai pairing this is a pairing 
that haven't lost all year, according to my record. 16 wins, no losses in the BWF Tour. Cause for concern for him. Still a long way to go, though. Super play, resilient in defence. Both teams so, so super to watch in defence as well as attack. The pirouette there as well. We've had it all in this match, haven't we? Drama to the full unfolding on show court one. Night session, day three. too excited it's the optimum arousal level for the players that they're trying to find of course and they found that optimum again there to head to a six-point lead in this deciding game Finale Gideon and knocking the racket out of his hand. Let's see it again. Thunderous from the bigger of the two ties. Look at that tangling him up. He was expecting the shot coming down the middle, but he was awaiting the backhand. Look at that. Didn't expect that one, and it was hit with such venom from Fuang. Fuapanet. Fuapanet, thank you, Paddy. Strong unit, coupled so well this evening with his 17, partner, Gittisat Nandash. Can they do the unthinkable? Four points away. Make that three. Lightning quick interventions. They're going to do the unthinkable, aren't they? Oh, hesitancy from the younger of the two Indonesians, and it cost them dear. Now, eight match points. Listen to the noise.
a titanic Thai effort, a seismic upset here. They've scalped the world number ones. Match one by Unceremoniously Anna. ejected them. 21-16. Kitty Sat Nandash and Nipit Fong Huang Kuapet. Unranked between them have the biggest win of their lives, without a doubt. Marcus Kamaldi Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sakamuljo were undefeated all year, and then this just happened to them. Such a high caliber shootout, a little bit of audacity at the end there from the bigger of the two ties. But they played such entertaining, extraordinarily high level of badminton tonight. They deserve the win as they salute in synchronicity. What 